Hi you peoples, welcome back to DMX 101. This time we're going to be looking at these nasty little fellas here. Dip switches. There we go. How they work and how to program your lights with them. Uh, the dip switch is the old method. A lot of lights have still got them unfortunately. They haven't got those nice LED display panels which we'll be covering later. But before we can touch the dip switches, you need a basic understanding of what we're putting into those switches. Well, DMX is made up of what they call a universe. The universe is what the controller can handle, is 512 channels. Those 512 channels all are control channels for the lights. Each light has its own set of channels and unfortunately the only way to find out is to read the manual and it will tell you how many channels of DMX on your particular light you will need. And you take those up on the universe. The way you do that is by setting the dip switches. It's a simple par cam, has three channels on it. Red LED, blue LED and green LED. One channel dims and turns on the red LEDs, one channel dims and turns on the blue LEDs and one channel dims and turns on, you got it, the red LEDs. So we know it's a three channel light and we put that in as because it's the first one we're doing, we'll put that in as DMX address 1. The 1 is the first channel that that light starts at. So if we have another one of those or another two of those lights, we'd put the first one in at DMX channel 1. It uses three channels, so you would count up DMX channel 1, 2 and 3. So your next light would start at DMX channel 4 because the first three are taken up. The fourth one, which would be your second light and these three channels, would take up channel 4, 5 and 6 and so would therefore start at, and I'm not flipping anybody the bird, it had started channel 8. Starting at channel 8, 9 and 10 will be your third light. So your fourth light would start at channel 11. You can kind of see the pattern. Or if we started with a five channel light, which would take up channel 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, the second light would start at channel 6. And it would be addressed as channel 6. The address is just so that basically the controller knows where, what to send the signal to, or more to the point, what it's going to do when the signal hits it. It's all it is, and it's as simple as that. That has been frightening people for the last couple of years now, at least to my knowledge. That's how easy DMX is. Can you count? That's how easy it is. Right then, what we're going to do is set the dip switches and give you a clue how that's done. Before we touch the lights on dip switches, you're going to need to find yourselves one of those. It's a cocktail stick, or better known in our game, in the technical terms, as a dip switch flicking tool. So what you do is you take the spike, break the end off it, which leaves you with a nice blunt tip to get in between those dip switches. As I show you, there isn't much room in there, and it's to get in between them and be able to turn them on and off without catching any of the other ones. Catch any of the other ones, that's where the problems start. Don't worry about the dip switches being in binary as ones and zeros, which will make up the number that you need. 
because there's a nice little website that will convert binary from normal numbers. So if you tell it what channel you want, tell the website what channel you want to put it in as, it will convert it and it will give you the sliders to set which one's on and which one's off. You can't get any easier than that. Without giving you a quick lecture in binary, that's the easiest way to show you. We will tell you a little bit about binary after we've set the switches. Okay, here's a website I was telling you about. What I'll do is put a link in the bottom there, down there, to the website so that you can find it yourself. But that one there, as you can see, represents our dip switches, one to nine. There's an address number it's asking for at the top and the show button. Well, the first one we want to address is address number one. So if we click in there and put in number one and then click show. You can see it's telling us we need the one slider on. The next one we need would be address number four and it will automatically reset. You tell it we want number four and it shows you the switch that we need on. And finally we're going to pretend we're putting a third light in of three channels so we want address number seven and hit show. And again as you can see, you just mirror it. The zero and the one corresponds to on being one and off being zero. Okay then, here we go, down to the dip switches. Showed you earlier on the computer and the website translating for us. Now it's setting them. It's really easy, as you saw from the computer. It basically gives you the display. This set of dip switches here that you can see appertain only to this light and basically what these are you'll have to look in manuals yourselves for your own lights but they're reversing channels sound to light master slave etc etc on here is your nine switches and the tenth on the end the first switch on this particular light isn't used that's used to tell it that you're using it as a DMX address and you're not using it with any of these dip switches for the internal programs and you turn that on like that there now we want to set this as switch as address one so we know address one is just one dip switch on as it showed us on the website if we need to address it for the next light along we reset the dip switch and we want it as address four and that would be number four there like that turned on sure we wanted to address it as seven this is where you can learn a little bit of binary each one of these represents a number all the numbers will add up to put any number together that we need within the DMX universe so one switch is a number one one switch is a number two, one switch is a number four, one switch is a number eight, 16, 32, 64, can you see the pattern? Doubles every time. So if we needed seven, we'd need one and four on, which makes five, and two more is seven. That gives you a little bit of an idea of binary as well just in case you can't get hold of the website on site and you need to work it out yourselves. There you go. Well, this time you've learned about binary. You've learned about setting dip switches. So what we'll do next time is we'll show you how to program the LED displays, the ones with the lights with the little displays on, which is really easy. And because it's so easy, we'll start looking at how the board controls the lights that you plug into it. Till then, take care.